If you've been writing blogs on your website, you probably wish that there was a way that you could get more traffic to your website in less time. You don't wanna to have to sit around and wait for Google to figure out that you're there, but maybe you don't wanna to have to post on social media all the time either. There is a solution that you can get more people who are qualified, who are great readers, to read your blog posts without needing to go on social media, and that answer is Medium. What exactly is Medium? Medium is, and here's the definition from their website, an open platform where readers find dynamic thinking and where expert and undiscovered voices can share their writing on any topic. Basically, Medium is a blog post syndicate network, so you can share your posts directly onto Medium, or you can do what I recommend, which is importing your blog posts into the Medium network so that way they can reach a larger audience. It sounds great, right? but there is a catch. There's a very specific way that you need to import your blog posts into Medium so that way you continue to get the SEO traffic for them instead of sending it to Medium. So let me walk you through the pros and cons of using this platform as well as the correct way to do this so that way you don't cannibalize your own content right after this. Hi, I'm Meg Casebolt, the founder of Love at First Search, where we help online entrepreneurs to show up in search results and then turn those new readers into leads, subscribers, and sales. Today, I'm talking all about how to amplify the work that you're doing on your website by creating content, by also using Medium as a way to distribute that blog post. Now, what are the benefits of using Medium? Medium has over 170 million readers on the platform. It does have some big deal publications that use it as their primary platform, like The Atlantic and certain authors that post on Medium regularly, like Roxane Gay. You can also monetize your Medium site by joining their partner program. So you earn a monthly payout based on how much time people spend on the platform reading your content. One of the questions I get most often from new entrepreneurs is, whether they should build their entire blog on Medium. So if you want Medium to be your primary form of income, then it does make sense to have that be the initial point of publication. If you're leaning heavily on the Medium Partner Program, you should do your best to keep all of your work on Medium and rarely link out to any external sites because that will decrease the amount of time that people spend reading your work. But for those of us who are business owners and we want to use Medium to expand our audience, but then drive people to our websites, I highly, highly recommend building your blog on your website and then republishing your blog posts onto Medium. Just the best pieces, just kind of the creme de la creme of what you're creating can be republished onto Medium. I know that it feels like setting up a blog on Medium is easier, especially if you have multiple contributing writers and they already have accounts on Medium and you don't want them to have to log into a bunch of different sites. But for most businesses who are focused on long-term SEO benefits from their content, it's almost always better to build the blog on your own website, on your own domain, instead of relying on Medium. This is one of those don't build your house on someone else's land situations. Medium could change any of their rules at any time and you could lose your income and lose your following. Whereas if you build it on your blog and then republish it to Medium, then you still own your content and you still own your traffic. So when does it make sense to republish to Medium? I tend to find with my business and the way that I write, I don't need to republish everything that I create onto Medium. What I tend to do instead is to lean into the more well-researched pieces, the thought leadership pieces, the things where people have a chance to dive deep with me. Those are the ones that I bring onto the Medium platform. I also like to republish guest blog posts that I've written on other people's sites onto my Medium account because it extends the reach of their blog posts, makes them look better, but also it's still under my account name and people who are following me and know me can see that guest post as well. So it gives a link to the guest blog post, but also brings people into my world. And the people who are following me will still get a chance to read it there. So how do you republish your blogs onto Medium without messing up your SEO? Here's the key thing that I want you to know when it comes to republishing your blogs. 
do not copy paste your blog onto Medium. If you copy paste your blog into Medium, then you're basically starting it from scratch. It's not going to link itself back to your website. There is a right way and there's a wrong way to share your blog post on Medium so that Medium doesn't accidentally steal your Google rankings. Here's why this matters. Google does not approve of duplicate content. If the same information is posted in two different places, Google doesn't assume that they're written by the same author. It assumes that one is the original and one is plagiarized content. This is actually a good thing because it prevents people from coming in, scraping your website, putting it on their website, and then stealing your work and passing it off as their own. But when two sites have identical content, Google's robots have to decide which one to share. And two of the factors that it looks at are the age of the post and the authority of the platform. So if the post first appears on site A, then a week later it shows up on site B, Google might notice that and make the assumption that it originated on site A because it was posted there first. But if site A publishes less frequently than site B, Google might actually find and index the content on the second site first, even if the publication date is later. And if site B is a more reputable site, if it has more domain authority, which I'll talk about in another video, then even if site B is published later, Google might see it first. And even if site B was published later, Google might trust it more. So even if you publish to your website first, Medium might outrank your website for your own content if you're not careful. So what are the proper steps for you to take? Step one, publish on your website first. Step two, log into your Medium account and then drop down the stories menu and click import a story. Step three, paste your link into the box. Step four, make any edits that you need to. Maybe you wanna swap things out, add some more external links, put in a different picture, make sure the alt text is firing, copy edit it so it looks right on Medium. Sometimes my spacing looks a little off, so I want it to look right on the new platform. Step five, double check your canonical link. This is the key. <laughs> canonical links are links that say, it was published there first, so send the SEO traffic there. And what a canonical link looks like on Medium, at the bottom of the post, it will say originally published at, and then have a link to the original publication date, on, and then the date that you published it on. If you copy and paste it, it will look like original content on Medium. If you import the story, it will have that canonical link at the bottom that links back to your website and says, it was published here first. If you link it without a canonical link, you could be cannibalizing your own SEO. Okay, I think I've made that clear enough. Have I said it like 50 times now? <laughs> I know I've said this a lot, but it's really important that you import your stories instead of pasting your stories because otherwise you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have a Medium channel now that you wanna share with me, make sure to comment it in the below. And I'll be back next week with more tips to make content marketing and SEO easy for your business. See you then.